Hi, Islam Sheikh Nguyen Bafla Bay, my Moorish American Nation family. Hi. It's May 6, 2023. I'm a little tired. Um, just got off work. I, so I took the thing off my. I'm not looking, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm at Whole Foods. Um, if you, I don't know, if you turn around, you can see Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Anyway, um, freedom. <laughs> you know, um, Sheet Dwayne Buffalo Bay, um, my Moorish American Nation and family. When my consciousness changed, where I um, started to think on a different level, it led me straight to Moors, how I was thinking. I never, even heard, I never knew that I was a Moor. It was like a big secret that I'm a Moor. And um, in my family, you know, and um, it's like, say, say you're black, say you're black, say you're African American. But it was, I mean, literally, the word Moor, I, ne I never knew anything about being a Moor. Um, or I am a war, okay? And then when I started to study and learn, because uh, my, my constant changed in, let's see, 2010, 2011. About 2010, 2011. 2010, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember the exact date, but I definitely think it's 2010. I get sort of confused sometimes it's been that long so I hope I'm saying the right year it's been that long since I had that experience but it's um, I think it was 2010 I don't, I don't think I ever said 2011 it's been so long let me think back I'm gonna try to think really hard so we we move to uh, yeah. anyway I think it was definitely 2010 uh, when I had this experience right now, I'm, I'm very tired. It's um, approximately Hold on, I hope I didn't uh -oh. I don't think I think my phone did I turn it off? I don't know why I turned it off. But I did well anyway, I started to study uh, um, with Moore's and um, I was studying with a bass meat bay and an honest girl gray. We all three of us. And, and at time, my knowledge increased. And um, learning that our five divine principles, which are love, truth, peace, freedom, freedom, and justice. I am still embracing that energy that I see that is inside of me. It's not just, it's not, these principles are not, um, or divine energy, spirits. They are not just uh, words on a piece of paper. When I, um, when the National Grand Sheik, Joe Bright Bay said, those divine principles are in the preamble, the um, preamble of the Constitution, and he showed and demonstrated where the divine principles are in the preamble of 1787. I was like, oh my goodness. And then when I read in Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition, the definition of the Constitution, that it is a organic instrument, organic. And then here Morris break down the word organic. I was, I was thinking to myself how interesting that is because one of the things I learned as a Moor, and because you just don't, when you start studying, it's not, a, it's not an overnight process. I'm still learning. I'm, I, when I think I know something, I know nothing at all. But um, to connect the energy of organic, what is organic and what is non-organic? And when in Black, Black's Law Dictionary, 
fourth edition, what I remember, I'm going to look it up again and um, read from it. I, I wrote it down. It, it described the Constitution as being of 1787, uh, if I remember correctly, or an organic instrument. And um, the earth, planet earth being a energy of organic life, Islam. So when the, the National Grand Sheep pointed out our flag, because on our flag, we had the five-pointed green star which represents love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Freedom. And he pointed out how the spirit of freedom is in the preamble of the Constitution. And how the Constitution, and then, and then he also pointed out how we as Moors are supposed to be transitioning from our lower self. So when we decided to be naturalized under these laws of freedom, we are leaving a state of mind. We're not just leaving that um, energy on paper. Okay, I've been naturalizing the state. You, we are leaving a state of mind, naturalizing from a lower self or lower thought process to our natural, true, divine beings, uh, who we are. And so I was, I, I saw, you know, as time go by and as my thoughts um, expand and I'm still learning, I, you know, I am still learning and I need to put, I need to brush up on my studying. But um, I started to embrace our flag being inside of me. The energies of love, the energies of truth, the energies of peace. What it, the, uh, uh, this is, I'm, I'm speaking on a high frequency. Because, you know, many people that are energies of truth and justice, many people, they say peace. I can't tell you, I hear people say peace all the time. All the time. And then after they say peace, right out the same mouth, with the same tongue, they're speaking harm. They're doing harmful acts. or um, speaking different words of someone being um, racist, but at the same tongue, they saying I paid. They saying racist, someone is racist, but with that same tongue, that energy say I paid for someone or implying they paid for someone. So, the planet Earth is a live energy, and it's full of organic energy. The Constitution, which has the energy of freedom, is defined as an organic instrument. And so I just want to say that because um, never would I think, I, you know, I ask myself so many times, um, and that's, what, well, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I just experienced um, something out here at um, Whole Foods, a customer um, gave me um, it's a fifty dollar gift card. Yeah, but she, but um, she uh, or he, I, I think she, the, the the representative used the word she, 
wouldn't allow, wouldn't tell me she was anonymous. It's a fifty dollars here, fifty dollars. And I know this. I was like, that's not a lot of money. But I can't tell you how many times someone has offered me money um, to help out, or just like you know, if I'm like looking for money in line, you know how you're looking for that change. You're like, I got, it, I can do it. And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't even. I don't accept. I don't accept tips at um, at um, Burger King. Um, just yesterday, um, a, a African American lady or. Um, her, the person that she was with, um, African American male or black, um, according to constitutional law, black, Negro, African American, it's all the same. I, I'm just giving a description. I don't know. They might have claimed a nationality, and they might, and their nationality might be something else. I don't know. So I'm just giving a basic description. But the male had on um, the Marine um, name on the hat. She wanted me to. She um, she was like, here, I want you to take this, and she had like a wad of money. And I saw a $10 bill. I said, oh, it's a $10 bill. She said, no, it's a lot more than that. I said, no, I, 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 I don't accept tips. And then she said, uh, well, this is not a tip. I'm ble- I want to bless your money. I'm blessing you with money. I said, oh, thank you. I said, but you know what? I don't accept um, blessings from people I don't know. But thank you so much for the implication. I did a good job. Thank you. This was yesterday, um, May 5th, 2023. And um, Phyllis was there on the front line, Phyllis the manager, and she was listening to the, um, the conversation. But I said thank you. So I, I, I have never accepted tips or at Burger King or anything like that, but not because, uh, you know, this is just my personal um, um, thought process. I, I prefer them, uh, that, I ask the customer, I, I tell them, I say, but you can call. You call that survey and say I did a good job with my manager because I think that um, that energy for me is worth more than the cash money. Um, that that's the thought process I'm on. That is my thought, my state of mind. Um, and um, because in and that and I could go in depth about it. I could be more complicated about why I um, have this state of mind, but um, and what caused me to get this way as I changed and I started to grow and evolve. I use the word evolve. I'm using the word evolve. That um, that's a thought that I'm using now, it, um, and how I'm studying thought and how um, I'm growing spiritually. Like the National Grand Chief, I don't think, I mean, he, you know, he didn't go in depth, the National Grand Chief, Joe Bryant Bay, when he was saying, moving from our lower self, because the, the hyphen is an index to our higher self, he, you know, all the time. But um, I am living proof that there is a energy that we, as naturalized beings, under laws of freedom, are definitely able to attune to because it is a natural force field with the earth and the universe. I, and that's all I can really say. Uh, that I'm, I'm being completely honest, and um, that's in it is, and that's all. That's all I can really say. And the earth, that spirit of earth, which is organic, which is naturally in the spirit of freedom, and the universe, it has a way of fighting back. But you got to have a higher thought and high frequency. You got to have that high thought and high frequency to see it. So if you're way down here in thoughts, you're thinking, causing harm, doing harm, rape, molestation, um, stealing, saying that you 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 want you in you you're in bondage, and you're trying to put others in bondage. You're not, you, how would you ever have any type of 
understanding. I'm not saying I'm just why why would you have an understanding of that energy field? You wouldn't. A true understanding of a high frequency. But I, I'm telling you, Sheep Dwayne Baffle Bay, um, the spirits of Earth is real in the universe. And that energy which I which is which is on our flag is Moors. Love, true peace, freedom, and justice. What we represent, it is powerful. And it's not just physical. That's the physical plane. There's many planes. But I'm saying internally, when we embrace that energy internally, it is it is amazing. It's powerful. And it harmonizes with the earth. It harmonizes with the universe. And each one of those principles are complex. It's not just love, truth, peace, freedom. Just, it's not just one way. There's, there's different, it's, it's different branches or different complexities with these energy, these energy fields. But anyway, as I was t telling the representative about, I was still contemplating, you know, some people were like, just hate the car, what's wrong with you? She is, you know, <laughs> I just don't accept, I just, I'm on a different thought process. So anyway, the person didn't, it was anonymous. I don't know where she went, but um, she um, put $50 on the card. So um, I was um, talking to the representative. Um, I, she, I, she looked like she speaks Spanish, I'm not sure. Uh, I just saw another representative um, of, uh, named um, Ruth, she speaks Spanish. She helped me out yesterday. I was so happy, um, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Because um, the, uh, just, the just egg didn't ring up the right way, it rang up wrong. And anyway, she I called her. She and she said, "Well, I'll be here tomorrow." And she fixed it immediately. But anyway, then um, another um, uh, employee um, who I wasn't talking to, I was talking to a representative that speaks Spanish. It looks like she does. I'm not sure. She might not speak Spanish. Um, I would say if I gave her a description, so you see her, you, you might say she could be from South Central America. Um, or uh, anyway, she has um, an, um, a, a light brown complexion. It could be makeup, but she looks like she do. I don't know. Uh, anyway, African American, she could be. Um, she could claim my nationality. I'm just giving a description. Her name is Veronica. I, I was told just now. I've seen her here many times, and, and um, as I was telling the lady, the representative, debating about it and saying and explaining why it could, you know, it's a challenge for me to accept the fifty dollars. She just interrupted and said. Now you can um, tweet or post something positive. I don't. I don't. I don't even know the. the I mean, yes, she's helped me, but I don't even know her. And I, I said, you know, and she's. And I said, what? And she said it again. I mean, as if she has the right to speak to a customer in that manner. And she's, um, I would give her a description of African American or black Negro according to constitutional law, but that doesn't mean she is. She might have claimed a nationality. I don't know her. And she said it, I think she said it like three times. I turned on my reporter. And I said, well, you know, I said, in a um, free society, I will post, because I'm in a free society, in jurisdiction, as I please. You know, I, I'm, 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 it's just like someone saying Mo. Calling someone Mo who they don't know, who's not impersonal or love. I mean, the African American, I'm giving a description only. They, I asked the other representative, I said, what's her name? She said, Veronica. I've seen her here many times. She doesn't know me. I have never implied that I want to know her personally. I'm a, I am a customer at Whole Foods. And if I have, if I need to post something in reference to whatever personal experience I'm experiencing, and it's correlating with laws of freedom, which I have been naturalized in, under and affirmed to uphold, that's none of her business. So when there's some type of imbalance 
when and when I'm not saying she's imbalanced, but um, the act, um, those that study me say, well, she might be imbalanced mentally. But what I'm saying is when a a society or a jurisdiction is off balance to an extent where they um, cannot demonstrate themselves in a rational manner, and I'm, I'm, this is excluding her right now, in a civilized manner, you know something, you know, that I, I, don't, I don't really have to explain, but you know something is very, very wrong, very wrong. Something is very wrong, and I would think, um, but if you cannot hear what's wrong, and if you can't see what's wrong, why would you think it's wrong? So I'm demonstrating a difference, and I'm excluding her right now, because um, I'm not saying she's all in balance or whatever, but I'm saying um, I was surprised. She just started interrupting the conversation and said, now you can post something positive. And she said again and again, like she had the right to speak to me in that manner. I'm excluding Veronica that works at Whole Foods. What I'm saying is when there is an imbalance in a society, and um, people cannot hear what's wrong, they can't see. <laughs> anyway, the spirits of Earth, the spirits of Earth in the universe is powerful. It's long. <laughs> it's May the 6th, 2023.